Did you have a big spade? I'm sorry? Did you have a big spade? You think I'm going to fold a big spade there? No, I was just asking. <laughs> What are you talking about? You've slept up like seven times to be here. Yeah, that. There was some salt in the wound there, I think. <laughs> You've probably bluffed me about five or six times. Uh, <laughs> James and Maria are both like, what, what language are you speaking? There's the next hand, Maria Ho, a great player, goes out. Chad is going all in with his pair of sevens. Can I get a cup? Yeah, Chad is a local, lives in Fort Lauderdale. Not many hands here tonight. He has finally pushed. Will he get action here? Eric Afriat has called it. And they turn him up. Here we go. As you see, Chad's whole family came out and made the trip. Come on, show me that queen of hearts. And the flop says, Jack nine six. Good looking flop for Chad. Sure. Sure, why not? He still looks worried. Queen of Hearts. Oh! Seven of diamonds will lock up this pot for Chad. And now Chad looks relieved. Chad now doubling up. Yeah, 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 all that hard work. Ah. I know all about that. Uh. <laughs> so six players remain. Eric getting a little disgusted. Maria Ho going out of this one. Chad going to take a break. And now Jerry Wong with Queen 10. I don't know if timing tells are much of a thing for Jerry, but he really thought that one over before raising. I think uh, he should be mindful of that. Interesting point. He makes it 425. Right behind him, Eric with a pair of fours. I think Eric is short enough that he, if he wants to play, he should go all in. I think folding's probably a little tight, but certainly understandable when you're at a final table and don't want to risk going out first. James now with 9-8 suited in the big blind. Make this call. Yep. Gonna see this flop. A 10 5 3. Beautiful for Jerry. Hit his 10s. And that seems like a flop Jerry should be betting pretty often. I'm surprised he checks back here. Well, there's an open ended straight now for James. And he is gonna come out with the bet here. 625. So far. Jerry's check working out great. He has an easy call on this turn, and if the river is a brick, he just might induce a big bluff from James. That is right. More disaster could happen. Let's take a look at the card. It's a deuce, very safe card. Yeah, that's a dream card for Jerry right there. And James is gonna go for it. He bets full pot as a bluff. And that's basically what Jerry was hoping for. And Jerry, you know, quickly calls with his Whoa. top pair. Everything is missed. So James Carroll runs a big bluff. And the flop check that I said I was so unsure about worked out great for Jerry. Back to this action. Chad with ace three of hearts has made it 425. Eric here with ace queen. He is our short stack right now, so I expect him to go for this. And you do see him counting it down. Huh, that is uh, not what I would do. I'll put it that way. Interesting. Behind him, though. Wow. James Carroll with the Kings, the Cowboys, the real hand. James has been very aggressive as we've expected at this final table. Yep, he is going over the top to 1.7 total. Chad can't play that. 
Now Eric is going to move all in, and of course James makes the call. And Eric, little does he know, but he knows now. James a big favorite with the Kings. And right now, James with a big opportunity to knock Eric out. Here is the flop, 10-10, Jack. Oh, man. Well, one of Eric's aces are dead, and the king is not an out, as that Ace would be James a full house. Ace of hearts. He doesn't need the chips. A deuce of hearts on the turn, so... Eric in awful shape. And he's going to get it! He gets it! Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT33 and get free entry into a $100,000 guaranteed tournament. Move on, action going to James Carroll. We start to throw away some hands. Maria also out. Chad though with Queen 10 of hearts. Gaining confidence at this final table. He has raised it to 550. And Eric, this time with ace queen again. Chad is under 30 blinds. Please. So if Eric three bets here, it needs to be with the intention of calling a shove. And he has three bet, but he's chosen a really weird small size that will price Chad into calling with any hand that he opened with. So I like Eric's three bet, but I do think it needs to be for bigger. It is not. Let's see the flop. It's a great flop for Eric. Look at this queen. They both have queens. Oh, Jin. Dominating him now. Thing of beauty. They go check, check. Great check by Chad there. Seven on the turn changes nothing. Eric will make a bet. He's looking good. He's betting a half a million. Betting small here, he has an opportunity to get Chad stack in the middle if he bets one and a half million and then shoves the river, but instead, he bets one sixth pot on the turn. He thinks that Chad has a queen. And even that is an awkward river as it completes the turn flush draw and will make getting called by a queen harder for Eric. So he bets 950,000 and now Chad getting four to one has a very difficult decision. It's hard yeah. to come up with many bluffs for Eric. Action clock is ticking down. Gotta make a decision or throw a button in there for more time. That's what he's gonna do. He needs more time. What a gross spot for Chad. Mm -hmm. Tell yourself, well, if my opponent's bluffing on the turn, it's probably with ace-king or ace-jack. Then the ace hits and it's like, yeah, and the ace beats me, the spades beat me. Uh, oh, this whole time. This whole time, that's it. Um, Very impressive. All of our short stacks have really chipped up here. When we started tonight, James and Maria were running away with this final table, and now not much separation between the two of them and the other four. All right, James Carroll hoping to turn things around again, but he's going to raise with this one. And right behind him, Maria with a beautiful ace-queen of diamonds. And so far, Maria has taken a passive approach against James. And she continues that trend here by just calling with ace-queen suited in the small blind. Again, I like her play here. James, one of the only stacks that could bust Maria. I don't think you really want to 3-bet and then call off 50 blinds with ace-queen this early in the final table. Look at this flop, Tony. Ace-jack, five aces for Maria. Jacks for James. Three spades out there, though. Neither player has a spade. I have liked all of James' aggression so far, but I'm not crazy about this bet. These monotone boards play pretty well as checks, and he's got some showdown value here, so when he bets his hand, I don't think he can make... Worse hands call or better hands fold. Maybe some random jack no spade would fold, but for the most part, I just don't think his bet accomplishes that much. Well, she has just called it, and we are going to the turn. Turn card, nine of diamonds. Maria checks.
James. Cutting out another bet here, which makes me think James has decided to turn his hand into a bluff. He might think, okay, Maria's got a lot of one pair ace hands. And if I barrel three times, she's not going to be able to take the heat. So I'll set it up, bet small on the turn, and then blast away on the river. It's a 950 on the turn. This is getting expensive. Maria in front, sitting pretty, and a jack on the river. Wow, wow, James hits a miracle card. Forget about that bluff. Oh. This is a weird spot for James. Maria's going to check it. I don't know if you can expect an ace to call a third bet. And if an ace won't call, then should you bet? And look at that. James thinks the same way. He checks back there, and it looks really tight. But I don't think Maria is calling the triple barrel with an ace. Check that check. I, I, I don't know. It's tough to call with just an ace. But Maria gets off cheap. Bad suck out, though, for her. And Maria with ace queen. And she's getting whittled back into the middle of the pack, but she's raised here. And Jerry's going to splash around with jack three of diamonds because he can. And here is the flop jack, jack, king. Oh, what a flop for Jerry. And he's going to check it. Again, Maria with one of those hands that could bet or check. You don't really get many better hands to fold by betting. 450, Jerry. Oh boy, Showtune's going off in his head right now. Just making the call smoothly. Sickens Maria. And we are going to the turn. Irrelevant card, a six. So Jerry looking good, hoping that Maria bets again. Yeah, I like that check from Maria. Not much to be gained by betting. You're not going to get a king to fold. A queen on the river. So now Maria does get queens here. That can get into a little trouble, perhaps. Maybe. It doesn't change very much about her hand. She's still behind a king or a jack. If Jerry had queen 10 for a straight draw on the flop, I don't think he's really going to bet that river. But at this size... Maria might get stuck into a call. It's just hard to find hands that you beat. He's bet 675. And there you go. She does make this call. So a nice bet sizing from Jerry there gets paid off with his trips in the Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT33 and get free entry into a $100,000 guaranteed tournament. Maria has just been on the wrong side of some bad luck with her ace queens. She's playing all those hands really well. She just needs to get some better river cards. Mm. All right, Jerry's going to pop it up to 550 with a king seven of clubs. And it's around to James, who has ace queen. Can you be? Every hand, it seems like someone has this hand. And James here is going to play it passively. He is first in chips to Jerry's second place. So again, not a lot of incentive to bloat the pot pre-flop. Ace nine deuce. James gonna check the aces. He's getting Jerry to bet, 375. I'm curious whether he calls or check raises here. I think if this were not a final table, he would check raise, but given that he wants to reduce the chances of playing a huge pot with Jerry, he goes with the call. And a king on the turn will give Jerry second pair, which is bad news for him. Otherwise, I think that was the last chip he puts in this pot. Now he may get sucked into calling a river bet. And check, check, eight on the river. I'm a little surprised James has checked, but I guess he wants to represent a nine and maybe induce some bluffs or in value bets 800. from Jerry. And Jerry gonna take the bait here. He's gonna value bet his king, believing that James has a nine. He's bet pretty small, it's under half pot. James 
seems to believe his hand is worth a little more than that. He wants to put in a raise, and this is a very creative line from James, making this small river check raise. I would love the line that James has taken here if this were not a final table, and as is, you can tell that he has the best hand, he knows his hand is best, he's trying to get extra value out of it. So this is really brilliant stuff. I'm just surprised that he's doing it here. Well, he chases his man away. Yeah. He puts some risk into that raise, but nevertheless, taking that pot down with aces. What a creative play from James, a creative line. I think that for the most part, players either bet the river themselves or check call a bet. Check raising there tells me that he really believes that if Jerry had better than ace queen, he would have bet the turn 100%. Look at this, Maria with tens has raised a Chad with ace jack. He's on the short stack at this moment. In fact, there's the two short stacks. Two short stacks are going at it. Whoever wins will be in a much better position. All in. And he's gonna shove it. Jerry's out, Eric's out, Ami um, out as well. So back on Maria. And I do believe she'll call. This is a 14 blind shove. Call. Yeah. She is gonna make that call. She flips it up. She's gonna like her position. She is a slight favorite to knock out Chad Evesledge. But Maria has been sliding down. Things aren't quite going her way anymore. Let's see if she gets lucky. Eight, seven, five, there's three hearts. Either player has a heart, so good flop for Maria. Still out in front with the tens. Going to the turn. And it's safe seven. Now she's a big favorite to knock out Chad. We've seen some crazy knockouts on the river here tonight. Let's see if this, no, it's a deuce of clubs. Maria Hall will score the first elimination of his final table and knock out Chad. That's right, Tony, he'll take home 148,000. We're down to five. 700. Eric with the seven five of hearts. <laughs> He's gonna get aggressive. Makes it 700 with that junk hand. Maria Ho with the king jack of hearts. And Maria, again, in a position where if she weren't at a final table, she would be three betting a fair bit. But at a final table, I think she's going to lean for the passive option. Yeah, she's going to call. Yep, yeah, they both have a ton of chips. And Jerry here has a hand that could squeeze as a three bet. He could call. But he's going to stay conservative and just fold. So heads up going to the flop. Both players holding hearts. Maria's Broadway, Eric seven high, and both players make an open-ended straight draw here on this 10-9-8 flop. Maria with the superior one. And she will check. Same bet seven. Get Eric to bet 700,000. Maria with the best possible open-ended straight draw and two over cards. Taking a little time, but making the call. Hoping to catch here, will she? Yes, she does with a queen. Top straight, of course there are three spades out there. Yeah, so with that third spade making Maria's hand, I would say she's cautiously optimistic here. Mm -hmm. She's checking. And he's gonna check behind. A lot of danger out there. River card, another spade! Hmm. And neither player has a spade. That's not good for Maria. She's gotta hate that. Yeah. She's gonna check and hope that Eric's gonna check behind. Now, if Eric bets here, it's a tough spot for Maria. 
Yeah, 2.5 million from Eric. Nice bet here. You can't win by checking, of course. Your opponent's more likely to call with suited hands than offsuit ones pre-flop, so I think you can actually wait Maria's range away from big spades. So I really like this bet from Eric and Maria in a tough spot. I'm reading her well, Eric. And that's the sign of a good player. Apply pressure, make a player fold that has the better hand, and he's gonna do it. Makes Maria fold the straight. Good bluff from Eric there. Really no other way out. Do you have a big spade? I'm sorry? Did you have a big spade? You think I'm gonna fold a big spade there? No, I was just asking. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've sucked up like seven times to be here. Yeah, that. Some want some salt in the wound there, I think. <laughs> You probably bluffed me about five or six times. Uh, <laughs> James and Maria are both like, what, what language are you speaking? It's just for confusion purposes, I think. Now, we'll move on to the next day. Oh Jerry here a with a pair of eights. <laughs> yeah, he's going to make it 700,000. Oh, now Eric really does have a hand. Pair of jacks. This is what he's been waiting for. Jerry and Eric are both near the top of our leaderboard. Come on, So Eric's going to take a more passive approach, and look at this. The trap works perfectly. Ami wakes up with nines and rips it in. Yep. And I don't know how Jerry gets away. Oh, he's gone all in over the top. So Jerry rips in 35 blinds, and now Eric with a decision. Um, hmm, you know, his hand is very underrepresented by just calling from the small blind. That's right, that's right. For sure I have the best hand. You spend all final table chipping up. For sure, for sure I have the best hand. You lay what you think is a trap for the guy, and then two players go all in. I can see why Eric's talking to himself yeah, here. Yeah, he, he feels like he does have the best hand, and he does, but this is a tricky situation, wow. and he is gonna lay that down! Seems a bit much to me, Vince, but I can oh. see why Eric oh. would choose to avoid a big I confrontation know. there, so. I know, there's reasons there. Whoa! <laughs> the nine's out in front for Ami. Nice shot. What a flat. I was trapping the flat. I said he's going to shove. Calls the shove. Let's see who gets lucky here. Ace, ten, seven, two hearts. So Ami safe with the nines. And a king of hearts on the turn. Look at that. Do the spades. Call it. Call it. Call it. Do the spades. I tell you, Ami. Ami, call it. Well, Ami in good shape, but now he needs to dodge a heart or a nine on the river. Look at this. Jerry putting the chips in like he's lost. Reverse psychology. Trying to put the jinx on Ami, and it's going to work. A five of hearts on the river. Oh. It's Jerry, lucky on the river to knock out Ami in fifth place. Pocket eight, suck out on pocket nine.